my little brushflies and welcome back to my channel brushfly anyway I was looking at the clock over there because I have work soon so just double checking the time but if you are new I'm the face behind brushfly anyway my name is Mercedes and if you are new remember to hit that subscribe button and if you're not make sure you're subscribed and let's jump straight into this video because I've not done one of these before so this is a purchase or pass. Now I quite often watch other YouTubers do purchase or pass videos and I actually really enjoy listening to their thoughts, their opinions and I thought I would do one too. So let's just jump straight in and see what I have to say and if you would agree. Okay so the first thing the Revolution 5D Lash Pal mascara so I had their original 5d mascara and I have to say it was actually a really good mascara I completely panned it last year it was really good I have used other mascaras since not mentioning any names Maybelline um, that I actually enjoy a lot more but I am a revolution Hoarder. I absolutely love Makeup Revolution, their sister brands, and I love testing out all their makeup. So this one does actually intrigue me. I kind of hope it's going to be a bit of a better formula than the original 5D Lash Mascara. But the original one was okay. I did enjoy using it. It did give my eyes quite a 5D appearance, I guess. But like I said, I have tried another one that I enjoy so much more at the moment. So. Although I'm intrigued by it and I would eventually I think like to buy it, at the moment I'm kind of happy with what I've got, but I think one day I probably will end up buying it. The iHeart Revolution Affirmation Palettes. So <laughs> I wrote my purchase or pass before this one arrived. So I have just done a makeup look using that palette. That's what's on my eye today and I didn't actually buy it. I spent so much on, not so much, but I had to spend 25 pounds on makeup and I got that one for free. So I got it for free. Originally I looked at them and I didn't want to buy them. And that was because I didn't really like the look of the skinny pans. I think the images on Instagram and stuff just weren't really grabbing me. I also really enjoy the iHeart Revolution chocolate mini palette, so I was a bit like, if it was a new mini chocolate palette, I would get it. But I have to say, now that I have tried this one, I have changed my mind and I possibly would, in the future, purchase the other ones that are in the Affirmation collection that go along with that one because the formula in that one was really good, the pigmentation was really good, blendability, the buildability. The shimmers, the mattes, really, really good. So yeah, I have changed my mind. Originally, I was gonna pass, but now I think I'm gonna purchase. And I have also done that with another collection. So I have my notes just here, and that is the Elf Cookies and Cream collection. So I originally put that in my purchase column, and I have changed my mind. It is now in the pass. Column. And that is because I went into my local Superdrug the other day and it was on sale and they had it on free for two. But it was like £9 for the palette, which is okay for e.l.f. Like that is actually a really good price point. It's not too expensive, it's drugstore. But then they had their £4 palettes. Now I've got the Mint Melt and I actually really love that palette. The formula's really really good and I noticed that in their collection they had a little mini blue one so I decided to swatch the blue one and then I put the cookies and cream palette next to it and I noticed that some of the colors were just exactly the same but you just had browns in there as well obviously for the cookies so to me it kind of feels a bit of a cash grab like they have just done it because it's a nice theme you know they've done the lip glosses they've done a lip scrub they've done a sponge 
the eyeshadow sticks, which I'm not a fan of because I bought an eyeshadow stick and it broke. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely going to pass on this one. I just feel it's a cash grab. The other palettes they have created in the four pan collections, you could just grab the blue one and a brown one of those and have the exact same thing. And it would possibly be a pound cheaper because they are four pound each, which only comes to eight. Whereas the Cookies and Dreams palette is nine pound. Yeah, so I'm gonna pass on that one. At first I did want to purchase it because I thought it looked really cool, it looked really different, but actually compared to their other palettes, it's the same, so yeah. Okay, Revolution and Lenkalol. I hope I said that right. So I don't know who Lenkalol is, and I think this is why my reasoning behind not wanting it. So yeah, it's a pass, but not because I don't want to support another YouTuber, influencer kind of thing. I just looked at her collection, while it is actually a really pretty collection, I think if my personal collection wasn't so big and I didn't already have palettes with those tones in, I would possibly actually buy that because it does look really good and I think if you have a small collection or you're a beginner, I think the Lenkalol collection would be really really good for you, but personally for me, I just have so many eyeshadow palettes and stuff that I don't need it. Like I look at it and I'm not uninspired by it, but I'm like sort of uninspired because I'm like, well, I've already got that in a collection. I don't need those ones. But like I was saying, I think if you're a beginner or you don't have a big collection, something like that would be good for you to add to your collection. For me, I have just decluttered I think 10 palettes and at my last count I had 81 palettes so I need to be a bit more conscious and careful about what I'm now bringing into my collection I think it has to really excite me and if it doesn't then I'm not going to get it but I do wish Linkalol all the best and I hope that it goes really really well and Maybe if she brings out other stuff in the future that I kind of look at and think, hmm, I like the look of you, then I might potentially get it. The next one is the Revolution Bright Light Highlighter, the pink one. So this is really giving me Charlotte Tilbury vibes. I think, is it Pinkasm, the like highlighty blushery sort of tube thing? I have seen Kelly Gooch use that on her channel quite a lot, and I have seen the Revolution one and you know what, I'm gonna have to buy it because I think it could be a dupe. It might not be, I could be completely off the mark, but something about it is calling to me. I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury one. I very rarely buy from Charlotte Tilbury, not because the makeup's bad, it's actually really good, but it's just a bit out of my price range. So Revolution coming out with a dupe could be a good thing. So. I actually really want to try that so I am going to purchase it and test it out as soon as I can so that one's definitely a purchase. The Profusion Desert Sage. So this one actually really gives me Final Fantasy X vibes because it has the cute little cactus thing going on. The packaging is actually really cool and it's really different to what I have seen other brands do. It's interesting and the colour story I actually find interesting as well. So I've only ever had one palette, it's kind of like um, a case where it has layers of different products from Profusion and from what I can remember I think it's good but I haven't used it in such a long time that I can't remember so I'm gonna have to pull that one out soon, I might have to do a was that haul worth it on it and see whether it's actually something I still like and maybe I will make my mind up eventually on whether that one would be good to buy on how that one works although Profusion I don't know whether they're as easy to buy in the UK I know a lot of people in America absolutely love them and they're quite easy to get hold of but in the UK I very rarely see it it could just be my town and that the shops near me don't really sell that sort of thing or that brand 
but I think if I came across it I would definitely buy it because I think it looks really cool really cute yes the packaging has pulled me in and it's given me Final Fantasy X vibes but yeah I, I like the look of that one Urban Decay and the Wild Greens so this is the palette I'm talking about um no pass 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 number one it's greens so I know I said earlier I have the elf mint melt palette which I do actually really enjoy and I'm just looking out the window because a birds are fighting out there um but yeah I said about the mint melt palette that one is a really pastel green I actually really like it a lot of people don't but I do and I feel it suits my green days when I have a green day but I don't wear greens very often I find they can really wash me out which is actually really strange because I have green eyes you think green would make green pop but I think it's my skin tone as well maybe like my vein colour it just doesn't go with the greens so the wild greens does not interest me I find the packaging a little bit boring I don't like the layout either I think there's too much space in between each pan and you could have fitted a lot more shades in I like the Urban Decay Naked series like I like the way that is I think maybe they should have done it as a Urban Decay Naked Wild Greens then I might have potentially been a bit more pulled in by it but the way it is I'm just I'm not interested the Fenty clip and go lip gloss bomb so this comes in like a little I want to call it like a compact kind of thing and you can sort of clip it to your belt I suppose I kind of like the idea but I'm gonna pass because I don't think it looks very hygienic um what I mean by that is it's it looks like the type of thing you can have to put your fingers in I definitely prefer a dofa applicator because you can use it and then put it back in if you need to reapply and you need to use your fingers if you're out and about and you've touched stuff like yes you should sanitize and wash your hands before you dip your fingers in but if you're out and about and you're at an event and you can't quite get somewhere to do that and then you've got to I just don't think it's very hygienic and then as well popping it on your belt like if you go to the toilet and it accidentally touches something like yeah it kind of puts me off and um, there are other things from Fenty that I would like to try which is I do want to try the gloss bomb collection itself because that actually really intrigues me but this thing the Too Faced Ethereal collection or eyeshadow palette okay so the colour story actually looks really cute and something I may potentially gravitate towards it is cute with its pastel tones and sometimes I'm not always into that but lately I have been finding that I am drawn into these a bit more than all the vibrants all the time and I really like the packaging the butterflies are really really cute obviously my makeup name is brushafly which was taken from a makeup brush and a butterfly and put together so that kind of thing yeah a bit cheesy but you know I kind of like it for the whole butterfly thing um I've not tried Too Faced before so I think if I was going to try something from Too Faced it would possibly be this Jaclyn Hill Complexion Collection um I've never actually bought anything from Jaclyn Hill and I have to admit I've not really watched her channel or anything um I sort of came on the makeup scene or began watching the makeup scene when it was more Jeffree Star, Tatty, James Charles like I wasn't there for the whole Jaclyn Hill stage so I don't really know her and I think that's why I'm not intrigued but also I remember the whole hairy lipsticks thing and I know there have been other problems with Jaclyn Hill cosmetics um I also feel that it's very expensive which puts me off like I know there are brands out there that are more high-end and that's great you do you but I think Jaclyn Hill should not be doing like high-end prices when there have been so much 
trouble with her makeup and her brand before I think it's just a bit cheeky so yeah I'm not really interested in that obviously I haven't tried it so I cannot comment on any of Jaclyn Hill's formulas they might be the best formula in the world and if you love it that's great comment down below let me know if you think I should ever try it but at the moment I'm like I don't really know you and I don't really want to try the stuff because of what's happened in the past and I know a lot of people have also said like how she only ever comes back to YouTube now and does a few videos when she has a new release and then you don't hear anything again so for me I threw my pen on the floor but there's not really that dedication there and I like a brand that's really dedicated and lastly the elf camo cc powder foundation um i think it has a really good color range but i have never used a powder foundation i have really really dry dehydrated skin so the thought of doing like a powder as my base i just have this image in my head of it looking really cakey and messy so I, I don't think I want to try it. Plus, I have just tried the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And I didn't like that at all. It was awful. Like, awful. So, yeah, I don't really feel interested enough to want to try that. And lastly, did I say lastly for that last one? This is the last one. So, the Kylie Cosmetics Valentine's Day Collection. So, I actually really like Kylie Cosmetics. There's a few things in her collections that I have tried and not liked. I'm not the biggest fan of the liquid lips, but I do like the glosses and I do like the eyeshadow palettes. So, I actually find this collection quite cute. I really like the packaging, but like, do I really need that in my collection? Do I really need that color story? Probably not. But it does really intrigue me so I think if it was a lot more easier to get hold of in the UK then I potentially would buy that maybe um like I know Kylie Cosmetics has come to Boots which is great but there's only a select few items which is actually quite boring and I sort of look at it and I'm like there's none of the fun stuff so again I think if it came to the UK properly came to the UK then I might be a bit more intrigued to buy it but I would consider it yeah I, I like the look of it so that is my purchase or pass I've not done one of these before so it could be a bit jumbled once I've done a few of them I might get a bit better at it but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video let me know down below what you would purchase and pass out of the things that I have described and uh, take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.